about audio drama, radio drama, whatever people are calling it these days. It's basically, it's a democratic form. You know what I mean? It's just a democratic form. Uh, so when you have these, these systems that rely on limited information uh, and, and then set up the whole entertainment industries on limited access and information. Audio drama content, which is actually much more than audio drama itself. My name is Mzoniese and uh, Triple TV is attending to a PowerPoint presentation. I'm a Kunyana Matuna, I'm a Prince. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to basically do us, act out scenes out I really liked it, actually particularly the last one was really great, just to see like the level of consciousness of people and, and you know what kind of messages they're trying to get across. It was good. We saw a lot of different um, performances. We got to hear what people were thinking about. Um, got to see what kind of scripts are being put out there. Yeah. Russia originally. I've been in well, in Cape Town for about two years. Lived in Durban for about eight years, so I've been sort of between two countries at the moment. And um, now I am the project coordinator at AMAC for the Performing Arts Skills Program, which we're running until the end of the year. 
I met Anthony through our new director, Brett Davidson, who's very exciting. I think we do have him as our new director. And I personally come from a theatre background all my life, uh, back in St. Petersburg, and very interested in kind of finding out some new medium as far as audio and see, uh, sort of like radio drama is concerned. I've worked for a radio station in Durban for about two years, so that's a bit of my personal interest in, in the radio as well. Um, and I'm a big passionate theatre maker as well. I would like to call the Mariba group players. I'm Timba. Um, basically, I'm just interested in the media in general. I'm doing my honours in communications media at UCT. I met Anthony at UCT as well, and he introduced me to audio drama since then. I've been basically working with him on different projects. Um, the last one we worked on was um, where I helped um, introduce other, other young learners into the aspect of it, of radio drama last week. Communication student, final communication student at UWC, and um, I'll be taking over for Megan when she finishes up at the end of the month. And I've also attended a few of the workshops last year, so I'm also quite uh, interested in the media in general, but specifically also radio. Hi, I'm Mark. Um, I met Anthony through um, a casting agency that I have, but um, for this project, I guess I have another business which is a sound hire company, and that's what I'm doing as My grandfather was a, he used to, I think it was, was very involved in Springbok Radio when it started. So he used to write all the plays. Um, so he was, Radio Drama was his, his big thing. Um, I think he was even in Guinness Book of Records for the longest running radio play. I think, I believe. I don't know when it was. <laughs> so um, I found some of the old plays. So I gave them to Anthony. I think some of his old groups did them and have worked through them. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Um, and hopefully I can get some more. So. My great grandfather was from Russia. He used to play the Cave Symphony Orchestra, and then so it's very musical and um, arty. But then um, he used to actually teach drama. And it was so long ago he passed away, and I can't. I was a little boy, so. Sure. Um, but he used to teach drama in Seapoint, and um, he had a few plays that he put on as well. I think he wrote in the region of the arts. There was a few thousand scripts that he wrote. Because I mean, I haven't seen them or heard them, so it's also great for Anthony's groups to put them on for me to see it. Drama was with a project I work with in my Tikimo, Jamaica. Okay. It's a collaboration between South Africans and Finland, the okay. Finnish people. Okay. So what happened was that um, we we're gonna start programs where we have Matiki art, we have Matiki pa uh, pen pal, okay. and children are communicating with each other. But with everything like that, you know, stories come up and how stories can be used and restored. And this way can we start to have contact with audio drama. Because we look for with the work we do, how we're gonna get people to access it. Okay. So, and then again, well, today I've heard about audio drama. I heard about it a little bit when I'd come to see Erna at Workers World. You know? Okay. But yeah, I mean, of course, I know audio drama growing up as a child, listening to radio, radio transcribed, you know? Okay. And even the 
bed with two thousand, you know, the body is to like the body okay. at one o'clock, you know, I know that. Okay. I liked the mix of music and sound effects and, and drama. Yeah, it was great. With audio drama, uh, uh, basically, if you want to, you can say it this way. Everybody gets their say. <laughs> Simple as that. Because the story that you tell is not a story that's based on you know stuff that you keep on here. The same news media that gives you the information from someplace else that filter it down to you. Understand? Everybody's talking about the same thing. Uh, they might have a little different spin on it, but it's basically from the same sources. So here is a source that comes from, here we go, here's that dreaded term, the peoples. It's, it's, it's a matter of time, you know, we, we never have time to prepare. There were some technical hitches, it would have been nicer to have more microphones and so on, but I think it was a nice first try. And um, what was very nice is bringing the different groups together who just work by themselves now so that people can see other people's, what other people have been doing. And I think that gives everyone ideas and new inspiration. Radio drama is actually a drama for real. But here, yeah, it's live, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, like, this is more open. Yeah, and I also think that it would be nice for people to carry on doing it so that they get better and better. You know, it's obviously just starting out and, uh, you know, the writing gets better and the acting gets better and, you know, if people have a chance to work on something over a long time and they can rehearse it, you know, I think it can only get better. You know? No, never, 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 nothing ever goes the way you plan it, but you can always fix it in the mix. But, you know, the big plan was just to bring people together so they can see what everybody else is doing, you know, so they'll have some sort of, I don't know, they'll feel inspired, they'll feel like they're not doing something alone out there. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of times you're working your creative art alone and you don't, you don't know where it stands in the world. You don't really want competition, but you want some support, you want some love, you know. So all these groups came together. You can see it's the quality of the writing that we're, that we're really after. So this was like the next step just to get them to understand, okay, you now you're right. So now what you're going to do now is just see what your writing, what your writing sounds like, you know. So it's just an ongoing process. Thank you. 